Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Republican Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's going right for the jugular with one of the worst news agencies in the country. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Marjorie Taylor Greene has a point here, right? It's one thing when you know the media is biased, right? We know the media hates us. We know the media is not a fan of the Republican Party. We know the media wants to stop everything the Republican Party wants to do. They especially want to stop President-elect Donald Trump. And they're going to character assassinate every one of his nominees. They're doing it. They've been doing it with the same liberal smear tactic they always do with the adult scandal. I have to say adult because, well, you know. But you know what I'm talking about. It always has to be that scandal because they know that tugs at the heartstrings, especially of women voters. Well, it's one thing to have a biased media. That stinks. That's not what the framers envisioned when they penned the Constitution, when they founded this country, when they said freedom of the press, freedom of speech, the most important freedom we have. It's why I can talk to you here, even though President Joe Biden is in the White House. And it's why liberals will be able to talk to you when President Donald Trump is in the White House. It is an essential freedom. So when you have what's supposed to be the fourth estate, right? They're supposed to be the referee. They're supposed to keep score. They're supposed to call balls and strikes. They don't do that. So it's one thing when you have a biased media. It's another thing when we're asking you and me, the taxpayer, to fund, to pay for that biased media. And that biased media comes in the form of public broadcasting, your NPR, your PBS. Sure, I like to watch a good Frank Sinatra concert, a little Luciano Pavarotti, a little Andrea Bocelli. I like to watch the, the soul from the 60s and 70s and the Motown concerts. All that stuff is really good. Sesame Street used to be great for the kids. I don't know what it is now. I'm assuming it's woke nonsense, but I don't know that. That being said, well, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she's going to be helping out Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy in the Department of Government Efficiency, or DOGE, and NPR and PBS, they're the first ones on the chopping block for funding. And it's about time. I want you to listen to this interview here where she tells you exactly how it's going to be. Then let me know what you think in the comments. That's how I'll be separating things on the oversight subcommittee on Doge. We'll be looking at everything from government funded media programs like NPR that spread nothing but Democrat propaganda. We'll be going into grant programs that fund things like sex apps in Malaysia, uh, toilets in Africa, all kinds of programs that don't help the American people. I want to talk to the people at the Pentagon and ask them why they can't find billions of dollars every single year and why they fail their audit. But not just that, Maria, I'd like to talk to the governors of sanctuary states and the mayors of sanctuary cities and have them come before our committee and explain why they deserve federal dollars if they're going to harbor illegal criminal aliens in their states and their cities. We're going to look in every single aspect, um, and we don't care about people's feelings. We're going to be searching for the facts, and we're going to be verifying if this is worth spending the American hard-earned, uh, American people's hard-earned tax dollars on. Well, they